one Alexa done here and today I'm talking about five ways that you can support your favorite authors. These are little things you can do. You'll be surprised how super simple they are that can make a huge difference to your favorite author, someone with a debut coming out, etc. Only one of these involves actually buying their book. So the first thing you can do to support your favorite authors is to review their works on Goodreads and Amazon. Goodreads reviews are amazing for a variety of reasons. So many people use those to find things to read, but also make sure you're transferring any review from Goodreads over to Amazon. Amazon has all sorts of analytics and rules where if books hit a certain review threshold and star rating threshold, they are more likely to recommend them to other people. So reviewing your favorite books on Amazon can make a big difference for discoverability of some of your favorite authors. I've heard the magical number is 50 reviews, but then I've heard other people say that they increased it recently to 100. So whatever the number is, authors really appreciate your reviews. And it doesn't always have to be a glowing five-star review, though we always love those but really any kind of honest, well thought out review that goes onto a review site is helpful. If anything, I actually think a really thoughtful three or four star review is even more helpful for guiding readers. A lot of readers don't even pay attention to five star reviews. They look at these slightly more kind of even keel critical reviews. So really any review helps. The next thing you can do to help authors, it's shockingly simple, but you'd be amazed is like your favorite positive reviews of their book on Goodreads. So Goodreads kind of defaults to the most popular comments slash reviews that are left on a book. And let me tell you, nothing means more to an author than when their friends and fans like a nice four or five star review, something really kind of thoughtful and nice that goes up to the top of their page over a one or two star review that has hundreds of likes. The thing on Goodreads is people love a juicy critical review. I am guilty of this as well, but I'll tell you, it's really devastating when the top review on your page, the first thing people see when they scroll down is a really salty one star review. So it's a little thing, but if you see that like the next review down is a really nice four star review, just give it a nice like. And you know, if enough people like those comments, they can overtake the top comment. The third thing is also on Goodreads and shockingly simple. So add your favorite books by your favorite authors to lists. Goodreads has a really great list system which helps people find books that fall under certain topics and are similar to other books. So not only add your favorite books to lists, but vote for your favorite books on lists. Some of these lists has have many, many pages. There are hundreds of books on them. And the closer a book is to the first page, and especially like the top 20 entries, the more visibility it gets. So if you see, you know, your favorite author on 2019 YA fantasies, just give it a nice vote. Vote for the authors that you like and you care about, and the order in which you like them does matter. Um, it's a weighted voting system. So like, let's say you wanna give your vote to the little debut that could, but you also really love Sarah J Mass. Vote for the debut first, if you're feeling generous, or maybe you just really love Sarah J Mass. But that's just to give you an idea of how the lists work. But honestly, a little vote goes a long way. Sometimes giving it one little thumbs up can bump it onto the first page. You'd be amazed. So that can really help with discoverability. The fourth thing you can do to support your favorite authors, debut authors, etc., is to request their book from your local library. This is especially helpful for new titles, titles not just by debuts, but by lesser known authors who maybe aren't already an auto buy for your library. Any little bit of extra carriage helps because that's demand that their publisher sees, which makes them more likely to buy more books from your favorite authors. Every library sale counts and matters. Use your local library, read all the books you love, and definitely request those books by the authors that you like, the books you want to read. And finally, the fifth thing you can do to support your favorite authors is, quite obviously, this is buying the book, but specifically pre order the book. Pre-order it from your bookseller of choice, whether that's Amazon or your local indie, because publishers 
And bookstores do look at pre-publication demand. More pre-publication demand can lead to more orders of the book. It can lead to the publisher giving more marketing support to that author. In some cases, it can mean that author gets to sell another book. Pre-orders really do make an impact, especially for debut and newer authors, niche authors, the authors that you really love but who maybe aren't mega bestsellers, because it's concrete fan interest in a book. So definitely pre-orders count. Uh, it's good to do it a few weeks out, but even if you pre-order it the week before it comes out, every little helps. So that's it, just five things you can do to support your favorite author that are shockingly easy. Leaving a review, upvoting a comment, adding someone to a list, voting for someone on a list, asking for it at your local library, and pre-ordering it. And let me tell you, authors, especially debuts, we're not going to publicly beg you to vote for us on a Goodreads list or to thumbs up a nice comment so that it surpasses a meaner comment, but in our little author hearts, we're, we're, we want you to do that. We're hoping someone, you know, will do that for us. So this is just me kind of letting you know what it's like on the other side, because I'll tell you, before I actually had a book coming out, I didn't think about any of these things. And it's incredible how you can make someone's day that much better by doing this one little thing. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. I post new videos two to three times a week. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, guys, happy writing.